Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about a couple of letters and a laptop and an apparent change of strategy. Um, you know, for the last few years, if you said the phrase laptop, everybody knew who the owner was. You didn't have to be real specific. And the owner has been very, very quiet for the most part. That has changed. There has been a change of strategy. Attorneys for Hunter Biden have sent out some letters. Um, the first is uh, one to Fox, basically saying, hey, you need to retract the idea that our client had access to uh, classified material that he wasn't authorized to have, blah, blah, blah. That one we could have seen coming. The other one is a uh, letter to the Department of Justice requesting a uh, criminal probe into the handling of his laptop and asking for an investigation into individuals for whom there is considerable reason to believe violated various federal laws in accessing, copying, manipulating and or disseminating Mr. Biden's personal computer data. There are some names mentioned. They're the ones you would expect. Giuliani, Bannon, people like that. Um, that's an interesting turn of developments. It really is. <laughs> uh, now, if you or I were to send a, a letter to DOJ or have our attorneys send a letter to DOJ, there is no guarantee, there's not even a high probability, that they're going to open a, a criminal probe. But Hunter Biden's not a normal person. He's the president's son. I would imagine they're at least going to look into it. And what they're really going to have to determine is whether or not it's a crime. The, the facts of the case and what happened and the fact that it was accessed and disseminated. Um, a lot of that's not really in dispute. Uh, many of the people involved in this little caper were very proud of their activities and talked about them repeatedly in, in a bragging fashion. Uh, so DOJ really isn't going to have to work too hard on that end. I mean, the New York Post knows most of it. Uh, what they're going to have to uh, really determine is whether or not these activities actually broke the law. Um, now, some of the allegations, I mean, it's all about computer crimes. And as we have talked about on the channel, federal laws uh, about this type of stuff, they're wild because they're very dated um, and the sentences are just, they're huge. But we have no idea at this point if a crime actually took place by, by the federal definition. Um, the, the suggestion that they transported stolen goods across state lines, all of this stuff, um, and all of this stuff in the letter, um, we discussed it when all of it happened. And there were questions then about whether it was even legal. Apparently, Hunter Biden is done being quiet. There are tons of allegations. Many of them are are baseless. You know, we, we've gone through quite a few on the channel that we actually went through and fact-checked, um, and there's no real basis for them. And you never got a press release from him saying, this isn't true and this is why. He just was quiet. This signals a change. I don't think this is the end of their moves. They are probably going to do other things as well. Um, and it's, 
it's a story that is probably going to have a flurry of activity, then disappear, and nobody's going to talk about it for a while, and then in like six months it'll pop back up again, um, assuming DOJ does open a probe. It is a very unique turn of events, and I don't, I don't think it's over. I think there's more to it. I think there will be more coming, because there are, there are a number of allegations that were made by pretty prominent people that they have no basis. They have no basis. Um, some might consider those allegations defamatory. Um, so this is a, uh, an unforeseen development in, in this ongoing saga about a laptop that entered the uh, political circus. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.